गुड इवनिंग Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Venkarna English Guru. Friends, we are talking about. We have started the neoclassical period. I think yes. We'll wait for a couple of minutes before our friends join the session. Yes, friends. Yeah, good evening good evening friends before we start the class let me ask few questions okay come on you you can uh, answer this questions quickly the book republic is written by yes quick the book republic is written by yes friends quick the book republic is written by very very quick friends Come on, quick answer. Yes, Plato. Poets are liars. Poets are liars. It's a statement made by. Poets are liars. This is a statement made by. Yes, Plato. Wonderful, wonderful. Poetics, which is written by Aristotle. Poetics, which is written by Aristotle. And uh, 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 when you talk about certain terms like where uh, you know the. the definition of tragedy given by aristotle in dash book in which book did he uh, introduce the word tragedy yes friends can somebody answer this question yes yes quick quick guys yes poetics only poetics only where he spoke about who first spoke about the importance of three unities who first spoke about the importance of three unities okay in the process of writing a uh, drama yes who first spoke about the importance of three unities like unit of time unit of action unit of place aristotle wonderful 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 nagabhavan madam wonderful yakub wonderful it is aristotle yes hearts poetica which is written by horace or which is translated into english by which is translated by one of the popular english dramatist who translated hearts poetica into english yes friends come on quick you can answer ben johnson yes wonderful and i told you iliad and odyssey iliad and odyssey what the popular epics popular epics composed in composed by yes the two popular epics iliad and Od odyssey these were popularly composed by yes sarna madam it is homer homer composed two popular epics iliad and odyssey these were translated into english by one of the popular neoclassical poets iliad and odyssey written by homer were translated into english yes radhika madam wonderful it is uh, alexander pope he became so popular he became popular only by translating these two important epics okay iliad and odyssey yes which is very important which are very very important for us next next my friends let me ask some more questions next yesterday we had a discussion Co comedy of manners which is also called a restoration comedy includes a number of dramatists like john dryden william congreve william wycherley sir john ethelge and one of the popular important writers of the time commented on this restoration comedy or comedy of manners by writing one or two important essays who is that particular important writer who commented on comedy of manners yes can somebody answer yes radhika madam it was yes full name can somebody answer no not sarjan vambru jeremy collier wonderful yes this is the and he wrote a wonderful article where he made a comment on the restoration comedy 
and friends as i also told you there are two important poems that were composed by john milton which are considered to be our uh, two important poems like allegro and il penseroso these two are considered to be dash during this period what do you call allegro and il penseroso composed by john milton yes allegro and il penseroso these are the two important popular poems composed by john milton are examples for yes ramkoti yes and we can say companion poems two popular epics two popular epics that were composed by john milton and what is the sequel of the paradise lost what is the sequel of the paradise lost yes friends can somebody answer this question what is the uh, yes 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 friends the paradise regained yes paradise regained and the sequel of the paradise lost is paradise regained so friends and it's okay you've been enjoying the class and uh, like our video and share our video to your friends and classmates now we are into our class yes and you can also watch and today i and i uploaded one video on about how to read poems and uh, for example reading literature reading literature which requires reading a lot of lengthy poems how to read these lengthy poems and i made a wonderful video only for you guys students who being seriously preparing for net set jldl examinations where you are required to read lengthy poems like the wasteland lengthy it includes 434 lines how how how, how is it possible to read 434 lines it's very lengthy and ode on the intimations of immortality and it in turn away these are more than 100 100 lines and o to the west wind are my last duchess are the last day together and when you read and your del sorto look all these are very lengthy in nature o to nightingale it is composed in 80 lines o to autumn 33 lines how to read that poem i gave you a sample how you can make notes based on whenever you read very if you feel like the poem is important make notes at least to try to i recover all those 15 or 20 points definitely you will be the topper and you will definitely qualify and set or net or any kind of examination if you read at least 100 to 200 poems and the way i told you that that's what i uploaded in the morning you can watch it and at 10 o'clock also you are going to have a wonderful video my friends you can also watch that and it will give you every week i'll post two or three models like that apart from our regular classes okay so now you can if you did not watch it and you can watch it again so see my friends where we had a discussion with regard to all these important points and the popular writers and the comedy of manners and the major ideas now and importance of the prose next where we had a discussion now we need to talk about the important dates my friends so today our discussion is going to be restriction period important popular texts several times in the history of net examination how many cantos were published when the paddle lost was first published so there was a question the paddle lost was first published in dash and the paddle lost was re revised in dash and the pilgrim's progress was written in dash or the pilgrim progress was revised in dash like that there were plenty of bits and the bloodless revolution took place in and the three eights were opened in like there were plenty of bits that's what import and jemmy collier wrote a one of the important articles to make comment on comedy of manners and the title is and a short view of profundness and immortality on the english stage and this is published in all these were previous net bits my friends that's what i'm talking about see 1660 the restoration of stuart line charles ii becomes the leader ruler of britain and 1660 the public theaters were opened all theaters were closed in 1642 they were opened in 1660 this featured several times in the history recently as a part of ap dl ap pl examination 1665 the fire of london the city of london was set fire and it was burnt 
and people and the experts and rebuilt it. So the fire of London, 1665, and the great year of plague, the plague of Britain. So where you can find a lot of people died in 1666. And grace abounding. This is a spiritual autobiography. Friends, we have not discussed any kind of autobi autobiography so far. And this is going to be our important autobiographical text that is composed by John Bunyan. So grace abounding. This is going to be the autobiographical, spiritual autobiography, autobiographical prose. It's, it is composed in the form of prose, not in words. Okay. So grace abounding. This is the popular spiritual autobiography composed by John Bunyan. John Bunyan is known for writing picaresque novel like The Pilgrim's Progress. So this also happened in 1660s. And major important, important concept that I wanted to give you in this aspect is giving you some kind of idea about the paddle lost. This is what and my major intention in this class, the paddle lost. Because based on this, you could find plenty of bits. How many sections are there? When was it first published? When was it published, revised? And what is the theme of this? Who are the major important characters? And whether this is an example for epic, what kind of epic is it? And how is it composed? Like who is the protagonist? Who are the antagonist? What is the setting? Like there are plenty. That's what I told you. I gave you a wonderful model how this is a poem. So how to read a poem? How to read a very lengthy poem? I gave you very lucid, very important explanation as a part of my previous video. You can watch it. And I'm giving you some some basic points like you see the Paddle of the Lost. This is published in the Paddle of the Lost was published in 10 cantos when 1667. So 10 cantos, canto sections, volumes. And what is the major theme of this? This was asked several times in the history of net examination to justify the ways of God to man. Remember, you need to learn all this to justify the ways of God to man. This is the major idea of what, what does it mean by the paddle lost? I'll talk about a lot, but I'm not in that way. And the major characters, protagonist, Adam and Eve. And it's an epic. It's an epic poem. What is epic? Characteristics of epic, models of epic, and styles of epic. I taught you previously as a part of unit one and composed in blank words. This featured several times, my friends. The paddle lost is composed in blank words. The paddle lost is an example for epic. And what are the characteristics of epic? And the first version published in 1667 consisted of 10 books with over 10,000 lines and where you are required to read and book one, book two, book nine. So if you are serious about becoming a junior lecturer or a degree lecturer or polytechnic lecturer in, in your syllabus, you are going to have book one and book nine, book two. These, these three are common. Remember, my friends, where you need to know that. Next, a second edition and followed in 1674, arranged into 12 volumes. So before his death, and John Milton died in 1674, and before his death, it was pub it was revised into 12 books, 12 volumes. So you will get a book, you will get a bit like this. And previously it was asked, the battle lost when it was published, the number of cantos is people simply blindly they will answer to well no 10 the battle lost when when it was uh, complete and uh, option 1 2 3 4 12 so you need to read the bit properly in the manner of virgils and what is the source for writing and which style did he actually follow he followed virgils a need this is another important epic which is written by Virgil, Homer, Horace, Virgil. All these are contemporary writers during the reign of Augustus in 1st AD, remember. Okay, some important points with regard to our, uh, the battle lost. And I have also given you who are, who are the major important characters of this God, Son and uh, Satan. And Adam, Eve, death, sin, Beelzebub, a lot of flies. So you, you have plenty of bits based on the Saturn and Beelzebub. Beelzebub is also called 
and lot of flies how many times it was repeated i cannot tell you okay but i'll be talking about i'll be so bilgeba bilail mamoon meloch mulsiba all these were the popular characters apart from adam and eve next you can see and what is the beginning line very very important in our net examination set exam examination bliss was that 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 don't be alive this is the beginning line of net bit i think a beauty joy forever this is the beginning line of endymion like that you will get beginning lines of the poem very lengthy poems so what the beginning line of this paralost of man's first disobedience and the fruit of that forbidden tree whose mortal taste you need to by heart certain important lines of the poem and to say that you are a student of literature so you need to know some basic lines at least once you think about the battle loss you, sh you should be able to talk about 10 to 15 lines of the particular poem okay this is the beginning line and what is the major theme of this particular poem and the poem concerns the biblical story of the fall of man the fall of man the major theme the fall of man is the major theme of the paradise lost the temptations of adam and eve by the fallen angel satan and their expulsion from the garden of eden how adam and eve were tempted how were they were thrown out of the garden of eden that is called and that is the theme of this text and another important thing to justify the ways of god to men and what god is going to do if you are faithful to him that is what the story that is what the theme of this and what is the source for writing this what is the model and any written by virgil what is the source previously we we discussed and a book and i forgot the title uh, so that book which was com completed in 1549 a book of common prayer so that book becomes a basis for writing the paradise lost to and john milton next friends and some some of the other important concepts 1670 is to a britain written by john milton so is to a britain it's a chronicle composed by john milton and 1671 the paradise regained this is very important paradise regained what is paradise you know commonwealth period where we discussed and people expected during renaissance that they are going to have a wonderful life wonderful life that they are going to have but what happened when oliver cromwell became the leader and they expected that commonwealth is going to be a part of a commonwealth is going to be a part of everybody next everybody is going to be happy leaders are going to be created from the people common people so and where there will be puritan puritanism protestantism for a long time and has there was a protest after killing uh, charles the one people expected that there was a very wonderful government which is ruled which where you can find sovereignty equality fraternity democracy but what happened after 1958 after the death of oliver cromwell the kind of heaven that the common people expected in the name of commonwealth in the name of puritanism in the name of puritan interregnum and collapsed by inviting charles the to to be the king in 1660 so this idea and john milton as he was a popular puritan popular protestant who wanted the power should be in the hands of the parliament power should be in the hands of the commonwealth but suddenly what happened after 1649 and after 1660 again the inter intellectuals of britain again they requested charles the 2 to come forward and uh, become the king then this incident and it, and broke the heart of john milton and what he expected not just john milton all the protestants all the puritans they were in disconsolation they were in despair they thought that again we are going to have what same kind of regime same kind of kingdom what we had before 1648 under the control of the church under the control of the king so what we had expected the kind of heaven but which is gone that is what the paradise lost okay the paradise refers to the commonwealth people expected for a long time from 1500 to 1660 again went back again how when charles ii became the leader next 
1671, the battle is regained and John Milton, four cantos. And this battle lost 10 cantos and as a whole, 12 cantos. And Paradise Regain, only four cantos remembered this, only four cantos. Several times this bit was asked. It's a sequel to the Paradise Lost, very, very important. What the sequel of the Paradise Lost? Same thing, all the characteristics that were used by John Milton uh, to write, to compose the Paradise Lost were used by, used in the Paradise Regain. And again, this is also a blank verse poem. This is also an epic. And 1674, the Paradise Lost, John Milton in 12 cantos. Next, Sad Judge Etherji, one of the major important comedy of man and dramatists, wrote Man of Mode. Next, 1676, Wicherley and William Wicherley, who come from the plain dealer, became popular and the way of the world, very, very important text. You need to read at least a short summary of the way of the world and the country wife. These are very, very important. And the way of the world, William Congreve, which and these three are best examples for the restoration comedies. These are plays. And the Pilgrim's Progress, very, very important. After the Bible, the book that is widely read by everybody in the world, by most of the people in the world is the Pilgrim's Progress. The Pilgrim, who is the Pilgrim? Every man, the hero. And most of the names of the characters are, are going to be willful, wishful, faithful. Thankful, like you will find the, these are the names of the characters of this novel. And after The Unfortunate Traveller, I told you in 1594, The Unfortunate Traveller written by Thomas Nash. This is the first, first novel, first Picaresco novel composed by Thomas Nash and the second, The Pilgrim's Progress, composed by John Bunyan. Next, my friends, you can see. You can see 1678, The Pilgrim's Progress. This is re-revised. First, it was composed in... First, sorry. First, it was composed in 1674. Next, it was composed in... six, And uh, this was first composed in 1678. Revised in 1684. So first published is 1678, second published 1684. And what is the su subtitle of this? From this world to that which is to come. This is the subtitle, remember this. And this is a Christian allegory. This is just like the Bible. Okay, where, how Jesus and came to this world in order to teach, in order to save the world. In the same way, the central character, every man, and who travels four major important voyages four important voyages. How to remember? They will have, and there were plenty of bits based on these four important voyages. And I kept a code D, D, V, D. And D, despond, doubling, vanity, death. So how? Because several times in the history of net examination, there was a question. How many sections are there in the pilgrim's progress? How many voyages and does the hero and go in the in the novel, The Pilgrim's Progress, four voyages. How to remember this? So I kept a code like DDVT, Dublin Castle, the Sloth of Despond, Dublin Castle, Vanity Fair, and Shot of Death. And you can remember the title, Vanity Fair. This is what one of the novels that was composed by Dublin Thackeray in 1847 or 48. So this title, Vanity Fair, which is used by Dublin Thackeray, and taken from the Pilgrim's Progress written by John Bunyan. This is very important. Okay. So it's a Christian allegory, first novel written in English after the unfortunate traveler. Next, friends, you can see another important text during this period that you can find 1684, the Mark Epic, Mac Fleck Now. Very, very important. During this period, during Rene, during neoclassical period. Not only epics, mock epics also become, became very popular during this particular period. What is epic? What is mock epic? What is the, epic refers to a long poem that is written in a grand style about a grand thing. Mock epic refers to a long poem that is written in a grand style about a menial thing. That is, there are two, two or three important mock epics that were composed during neoclassical period. Meg Flecknow by John Dryden and The Rape of the Lock by Alexander Pope and uh, um, the Death of a Mad Cat, written by John Gay. 
So these are very, very important market picks in the history that were composed during and this period. Macplech, no, it, this is written by John Dryden. You know, I told you yesterday, John Dryden is considered to be the father of English criticism and who wrote a lot of satires, parodies, mock epics. This is the greatest mock epic composed by John Dryden. And this is a satire. Satire to make comment on someone. Satire on the minor poet Thomas Shadwell. And in this, and is named after Richard Fleck. No. Richard Fleck. No. Actually, John Dryden and Thomas Shadwell had quarrel. And he wanted to make comment on Thomas Shadwell. And he created an imaginary character called Richard Flickno, who is actually the real figure of Thomas Shadwell and composed a poem called Make Flickno. So he, John Dryden wanted to comment on this and Thomas Shadwell, but directly, not it is a direct kind of comment, where he created one, some of the imaginary character, Richard Flickno, and where he applied the activities of Thomas Shadwell and made a comment on him. Next, this is composed in Heroic Couplet. I told you, Heroic Couplet was first introduced into English literature by and and Geoffrey uh, Chaucer and Decca Sylvie Couplet, Heroic Couplet. It was later popularized by Elizabethan dramatists. Later, it was popularly used by John Dryden and Alexander Pope. Two epics, two mock epics, Macfleckno and The Rape of the Lord, both were composed in Heroic Couplet. What is Heroic Couplet? Couplet refers to a stanza that is composed in two lines. Hero couplet refers to a stanza that is composed in two lines of iambic pentameter lines, you know. Next, 1684 revised the Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan. 1684, the, the dethrone of Charles II. Charles II was dethroned. And what, what were the reasons? Because as he was, biologically, he was a Catholic. And after the death of his father, Charles I, and he escaped from the Great Britain and after 1660 again the intellectuals requested Charles II to come forward and take the throne and he came and he promised that he was not going to show any difference between the Protestants and, and the Catholics but in disguised manner he went on supporting only Catholicism and he went on pulling the legs and creating problems and killing the supporters and the strong leaders of the Protestants and Puritans. People did not tolerate and they revolted. That is called the dethrone of Charles II. 1685, the son of Charles II, James II, became the ruler. When in 1685, he continued till 1688 and he was not able to uh, cooperate the government. So, and the dethroning of James II is nothing but bloodless revolution glorious revolution where in 1688 two important political parties were established no the power should not be in the hands of the king the power should not be in the hands of the church the power should be in the hands of the parliament hence two political parties were established tory and Whig. so if you understand the political parties and their establishment you will understand the novel the gulliver's travels which is composed in 1726 by jonathan swift Tory and Whig. Tories and Whigs. Very important, my friends. Next, 1690. Another important essay. This is very important. The essay concerning human understanding. Very, very important. This is a philosophical essay. And you know, literature is influenced by philosophies. Literature is influenced by sociological thoughts, philosophical thoughts. So this is one of the important essay which influenced literature and what is the title and the essay concerning human understanding where he talks about enlightenment and it influenced Alexander Pope, Joseph Addison, Richard Steele and most of the neoclassical writers and it talks about it gives a lot of priority for using thinking reasoning in the process of writing literature. Next 1696 The Country Wife a popular play composed by William Wycherley best example for restriction comedy. And 1698, very important, this was asked several times. A short view of immortality and the profaneness on the English stage. This is an essay composed by Jeremy Collier. This is actually a satire to make comment on comedy of manners. Comedy of manners. 
mainly two important writers, William Congreve and Sir John Vanbrugh. Remember this. Because once you read, once you refer to, as I told you, my friend, several times, I am I'm helping you in this regard only to, if once you listen to, I cannot say that if you listen to me, you will get 100 out of 100. No, I can say only 4 out of 10. Yes, frankly speaking, if somebody says, and if you listen to me, if you attend my classes and you will get an out of 10, he might be a fool, remember. So you will definitely get at least, if you get two, it's enough. My intention is that if you get one bit, if you get one, two bits, and if they are very useful to qualify your set or net, I'll be happy. That's what my intention is here. So 1700, the way of the world, William Congreve and 1700 and the end of Renaissance period. This is something about what, this is something about the restoration age that I wanted to talk in this uh, lecture, my friends. And for more, and, uh, and we talk about the next age, maybe tomorrow. Maybe uh, one more important caution is that from September 1st onwards, I'm going to be busy because colleges are going to be, we, uh, we are going to attend classes regularly in colleges. And if I miss any class, I will upload a video. Okay, don't worry about it. By exact time, you can watch it. Okay, and we'll meet tomorrow, same time. And we'll be talking about a new period that is Age of Augustus. And you can like it before you leave it. Okay? Yes. Hi, sir. This is Uday Singuluri. I am state top. Yes. Onion DL exams in AP. Started my preparation under your guidance. Friends, you can see. So, one of my students, Uday, and who was actually qualified into net examination. Say, good evening, guys. And you can also read as a part of uh, our, uh, as a part of our uh, chart box, one of my student, Uday, who stood as a topper, as a part of APGL, APDL, not. And this is only because of the belief that these guys keep on uh, listening to my lectures, not. And, and, and he actually gives credit to me, not that. He worked. I only just suggested. I only guided some students, but it is you. And you need to have a lot of perseverance, dedication, motivation. Then only you will be able to qualify and get through different examinations. Most of my students in 2017 and became APDL. And once you see myself, I'm the state first ranker as a part of Telangana DL examination stood. So that's what my friends, I strongly believe that and good teachers create and good students. Students and great teachers usually create very wonderful students. That is what I believe in because I like teaching. Teaching, not, I did not start my teaching career only two or three or five years ago. I started my teaching career after my, soon after my 10th class in Hyderabad. That's what. So become role models like Uday, become role models like and Ram Babu. And you have to be, you have to succeed in your life by getting through net, set and other examinations. Okay, guys, we'll meet tomorrow, same time. Thank you, Vijay. Thank you, Uday. I strongly recommend everyone to follow such classes if you want to clear net. Thank you, Uday. See my friends and how the students are going to be. Yes, yes, yes. You have to qualify. You have to qualify net set and you have to change your fate, you know. Thank you Vijay for becoming a part of this. Thank you Vijay for becoming a part of this wonderful lecture and thank you.